Hey everyone, it's Diana and I'm back with another Sunday video. This time <laughs> it's about my week trying to be more productive by waking up early in the morning. <laughs> so if you want to see more <laughs> of this mess, trying to wake up early, keep on watching. start off very well. <clears throat> so I <laughs> I'm extremely tired. Last night I could barely sleep um, but that is also my fault because I didn't go to bed on time. <laughs> I basically woke up really tired and was kind of fed up with not feeling like I was being productive with my day. Especially since I really want to grow my YouTube channel and post more than once a week. Um, I was hoping that this past week I would have been able to get two videos out. Now with the stress of everything, I didn't manage to do that, but I did manage to film. So I kind of want to see that as a win. And then what I'll end up doing is those little extra um, YouTube videos that I did plan um, and film, I will edit for the upcoming weeks. So I don't really see it as a fail. I did manage to get ahead. I just didn't have the right expectations on when I would get it done. Um, ciao. Anyways, so going back to Monday, my goal for this week is now Monday, but starting tomorrow, I want to make sure that I go to bed by 11 o'clock. Now hear me out. <laughs> I know 11 o'clock sounds late, but usually I want to I be in bed by 10 and then I'm on my phone for an hour, which I need to work on, but um, I'm doing baby steps. So I want to be asleep by 11 o'clock and then be up by 6.37. My plan for the week was to wake up between 6.30 and 7.30 and make sure that I had a plan in place for the day of what I wanted to get done. So I was pretty good at waking up early. The only issue was is that the rest of the day I was super tired. <music> I implemented a rule that I would be in bed by 10 and asleep by 11. I really thought that was realistic and it actually was. I didn't manage to be in bed by 10 p.m. most days of the week. Yay, I made it into bed. It's just five past 10 for school of the week. Check. Yay. Now the days that I didn't really uh, stick to that rule, it wasn't because I was just sitting on the couch doing nothing. Um, I was studying for tests that I had that week. Some of the reasons why I did find it really difficult waking up is it's winter and it's super dark at 7.30 and yeah, I just, I waking up in pitch black, I don't even have curtains on my windows in my bedroom, just did not want to get up and there were some days where I didn't have to be at school till 10.30 so then I would just get up, brush my teeth, eat breakfast and then go back to sleep. Especially living in the west coast area of Canada, it's dark and it's really really wet and miserable. Like this is the first time I've seen the sun in I want to say like two weeks. So basically it being dark in the morning and just rainy all day just really really brings your mood down. I also live in a basement suite so the lighting in here isn't the best, hence why I have to film while it's sunny outside instead of walking my dog. I'm just trying to get out of the light here but also have a nice background. So I did have some moments during the week where I was feeling a little down and a little off and I really felt it was affecting my mental health so I wasn't feeling the best. Therefore, I didn't want to wake up in the morning. Oh, you guys, I'm feeling uh, 
being productive today. I woke up on time, but I was just so tired. It's so dark in my place, like all the time because of winter and I'm just losing my mind here. I'm supposed to do too, too much. I'm supposed to do so much today. Um, like study, that didn't happen. And I was supposed to go hand in some forms for the hygiene program. I'm still trying to make that work. <laughs> like counting down the minutes to like the, the least amount of time I have to be waiting before class starts. And I didn't even like want to be productive. I don't want to do anything. So some of my thoughts on being productive and waking up early, because I see so many of these videos from other YouTubers, but from my point of view, going to school full time and trying to do YouTube and worrying about money, I thought this video would be a good example of what not to do and what to do. So first thing I learned was set realistic expectations. Was waking up between 6.30 and 7.30 a good expectation for myself? Um, I think so. I've done it before and I get a lot of done. It's 9.30. <laughs> We studied like half an hour. I can barely keep my eyes open. So I'm sticking to what I said. I'm gonna be in bed by 10. It's just because the combination of the weather and the lighting and not seeing a lot of sun brought my mood down and therefore brought my energy down and my stress levels were going up and it just like wasn't a good mixture. I feel like the key to being productive is consistency. Waking up every day roughly around the same time and having that morning routine locked down really sets the tone to your day. Doing the same things over and over every day at least for a little chunk of your day like the morning or evening brings familiarity and I totally if I didn't have my morning routine I probably wouldn't have been able to make this video <laughs> I wouldn't have had no content I don't want to make this video very long so my third and final tip would be what's my third tip I just had it oh it's so bad when you don't write things down oh my god planning <laughs> So my third and final tip to keep this video short and simple and straight to the point is planning. So planning and scheduling things to be done on certain days definitely takes the feeling of being overwhelmed away from your day and in turn it makes you be more productive because your goal was to only finish one thing but if you finish it and also start doing something else you start feeling really good about yourself. I still definitely struggle with that. I struggled with that this week because I'm still in this weird winter break funk where I don't know exactly what needs to be done and like how long it'll take me. So definitely tracking it and like being aware of my schedule just for the sake of the video has definitely helped me prepare for like next week to make sure that throughout my five quizzes that I have that I've had within this week from Wednesday to next Wednesday that I am scheduling the right amount of study time and prioritizing the stuff I feel is important to me. If you want to leave some of your tips down below on what makes you productive or even what helps you wake up early in the morning go ahead and leave it in the comments below and as always please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you like me and you want to see more of my stuff. You can also find me outside of YouTube on Instagram. So that's it for today and oh yeah I think I'm gonna have some new video content for you for next Thursday so I'll catch you next Thursday and that's my commitment prioritizing what I want to be done next week and scheduling it and letting everyone know so that I actually do it. That's me being productive. Yay! <laughs> Alright, bye!